Rough set cam lean. This is another unique feature to Bowtech's overdrive binary cam system. Because of our patent split bus cables on each cam, you have the ability to control the string movement left and right by adjusting both cams independently. What you're trying to achieve in the rough set cam lean is tuning the string so that it's positioned in the center of the bow, and it's crucial to achieving perfect horizontal knock travel. So horizontal knock travel, you might be saying, what the heck is that? Let me try to simplify it. Both of your cams lean, no matter what compound bow you're shooting. Things like limb deflection, draw weight, torque on the riser, even the materials used on your bow all contribute to this cam lean phenomenon. What it ultimately means is that the bowstring is rarely ever truly perfectly plumb or even set in the center of your bow. And that means when you draw the bowstring and fire an arrow, the string isn't always moving perfectly forward directly behind the arrow. It's most likely also moving ever so slightly from left to right or right to left. You can't see this with the naked eye because it happens so quickly, but paper tuning easily shows the arrow can be kicking left or right as it leaves the bow. On other bows, you might try to fix this by adjusting the rest to compensate, but you'll never tune it out, which means you'll never really maximize the energy from the string to the arrow. Now remember, we talked about how the binary cams are synced when drawn or fired, which delivers perfect vertical knock travel. Now we'll tune the left-right horizontal knock travel to put 100% of the string's energy directly behind the arrow. More power where you want it. That's why you're going to make better shots more consistently, including tighter groups at further distances. With that behind us, let's tune our rough set cam lean. You're going to need your cam laser and your model's laser reference images found on the website. Also, remove your string stop. It gets in the way of the laser. To start, place the cam laser on the side of the cam that has a power shift module. This is the right side of the right hand bow opposite for a left hand bow. Place the cam laser down on the cam, pointing the laser at the opposite axle. Be sure to keep the laser body to the outside of the draw stop set screw area behind the overdrive binary emblem. What I mean is keep the laser perfectly flat on the cam. With the laser on, pivot around and get a reference mark on the opposite end of the bow near the axle. Here's where you'll need to identify your model's particular cam laser reference point. Remember, that's all available on our website 24-7. Now I'm tuning a BTX, so I want my laser to fall just on the inside edge of the cantilever per the laser specs for this model. I'll start with the laser on the top cam pointed at the bottom side. You can see here that the laser dot is too low on the cam axle. This cam is leaning to the left. How do I determine it's leaning to the left? I'll explain so we're both on the same page. First off, we'll always reference cam lean as we're standing behind the bow and looking at the back of the bowstring. Next, we'll always choose left or right by determining which side of center the camera's favoring where it meets the bowstring. Let's revisit my scenario. I placed the laser on the right side of the top cam. The laser dot was too low on the bottom reference point. This means the right side of the top cam is weaker, letting the bottom of the cam kick over to the left more than I would like. Hence, this is called left lean. So what do I do about this? I want to get that laser point back up closer to the edge of the cantilever. If I shorten the left side bus cable on the top cam, it will correct some of that lean, raising the laser dot at the same time. So let's just do that. Let's put the bow in a press and note the direction the left cable strands are already twisted. We'll want to add a twist in the same direction. This ultimately shortens the cable slightly. Remove the cable from the axle. Try a half twist and replace it. Remove the bow from the press and recheck your laser dot on the opposite cam. Depending on where it fell, you may need to add another half or even full twist to get on the recommended rough set laser marks per our reference guide. Repeat as needed on both cams to achieve those recommended laser marks. As a rule of thumb, always try to shorten a bus cable to achieve the right lean rather than untwist and lengthen a bus cable. At the same time, don't overtwist a cable. Use your best judgment when cables appear to have extensive twisting in them. With rough set cam lean done, let's move to our final tuning stages.